Okay, let's play Innuendo Bingo. You haven't done this for a while, Phil, have you? No, I haven't. What the hell are you wearing? I don't know. I'm wearing like one of those creepy uncle jackets, you know, one you're not allowed to go see anymore? Yeah. The, the one that eats the kiwi like an apple? Yeah. <laughs> what? Skin and all. It's a, you, you'll know if you're watching it on the Radio 1 website. This is a creepy <laughs> uncle jacket. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen you since you were such high. <laughs> it's, 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 a it's a creepy it's a creepy yeah they look like weird people yeah. in the kiwi skin, skin and all yeah. skin and all mm. okay so uh, everyone knows what to do here let us know if you're watching it for the first time today um, I think it's going to be good uh, Tuesday's got mm. out of control with Louisa off mm. The Apprentice she loved it so get each other wet please it's lads today uh, eye contact where possible cheers mate cheers, and mate. loads of water in your mouth please let's make it a good one we're nearly at the end of the week First up, on Thursday's Innuendo Bingo, over to BBC Three. And the women's Euro football first. <laughs> and these professional footballers can be ever so demanding. She's without a doubt probably the quickest player in the tournament. And, and like I say, they know that, so you cannot give her time and space because that's what she wants. She wants the balls in behind. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. She wants the balls in behind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a good sprayage, but not over him, Phil. Yes, okay, right. Get me? Um, um, okay. I Thank you to Ben in Birmingham for sorting that one out. Now, a really useful tip here for all the lads out there now from Saturday Kitchen. <laughs> Put a little bit of bacon over the top. Keeps the, uh, keeps the bird really moist, which is important. <laughs> 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 Lad. Okay. Put a little bit of bacon over the top. <laughs> keeps the uh, keeps the bird really moist, which is important. Thank you, Lauren, for spotting that one. It's a good recipe. Yeah, mate. More water. More water. More water. More water. Okay, this one from a couple of weeks ago. And we're going over to Grand Designs Australia. And we join the presenter as he steps out of the house onto the decking. <laughs> 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 All right, Chris? Mm. <laughs> So this is what it's all about. Sit. I can understand why your dick's being large, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> it feels terrific. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's still a good one. It's good to have a big deck, though, if you're on decking, I think. Yeah. yeah. I can understand why your dick's being large, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard that one before. It's good. Okay. <laughs> good, good hustle, Chris. Good hustle. Oh. Right, next clip. Here we go. Let's go over to All Star, Mr. and Mrs. Now, is this one? Let's just check. Next to play, we have Dermot Gavin and his wife, Justine. <laughs> Dermot and Justine first met when he was landscaping her mother's garden. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can we get a close up of Chris's eye here? What is that? What are you doing? What's in your eye? It's like coconut segment or something. Uh, well, that's concerning because there's no coconuts in my eyes. Unless they came out of my mouth. I haven't been eating coconuts. He hasn't had a coconut for years. Exactly. Me and the man from Del Monte fell at you. <laughs> 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 we can't go in. There's a lot of legal yeah. things. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. He was the type that would wear that jacket, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Where's my mangoes? <laughs> Where's my kiwi? I'll eat it all. Uh, okay. <laughs> pardon, pardon me, compose. Okay, back in the game. Uh, back in the game. When he was landscaping her mother's <laughs> I can understand why your dick's being large, Michael. Um, oh, okay. Look at the glasses. Oh, no. It's going well now. The glasses are on. Stephen and Fife emailed the Mr. and Mrs. One to mm. scott.mills at bbc.co.uk. Over to the Radio 1 Breakfast Show now with Nick Grimshaw. I never realised Grimmy and Charlie Sloth were this close. Uh, right, we're going to play some new stuff now from Kay Coke and Bridget Kelly. This is my time. Charlie Sloth, a big fan of this record. He's been ramming it down my neck for weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Ramming it down my neck for weeks. It's the mmm before he says it. Mm. I'm Joe in Redding heard that one. Mm. Thanks, Joe. Who's wetter so far? 
Um, so my it's, bottom half feels top half. Oh, it's showing yeah. up more on my velvet suit. It certainly is. Yes. Okay, back to one of my favourites recently. It's the... <laughs> it's the play, my favourite radio play on Radio 4 Extra. Are we ready? <laughs> oh, you'd soon forget your scruples if you could watch your own little tits getting bigger every day. <laughs> Oh, it's gone into my... Really want to have a look at the cameras oh. in his bird's nest. Oh, my Don't God. you? I can feel it, like, in my belly button. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I should have a scoop, man. Here we go. Someone says, I was watching on the website, but I cannot look at that jo jacket. Sorry, Phil. <laughs> That's uh, Julie in Aberdeen. It's well, putting people off. Some people just don't understand fashion. Mm. Over to Emmerdale oh, next. Fill your cheeks. And now listen carefully to this one, please. Who is it that's gone to hospital here? See if you can hear it. I couldn't deal with it. I thought my head was going and our bell ended up in hospital made it worse. <laughs> <laughs> Crash. Mm. Famous mm. mouth wee there from Christophe. I thought my head was going and our bell ended <laughs> Our bell ended up in hospital, it was, just to be clear. <laughs> Get well soon, Belle. <laughs> okay. Mm. I couldn't deal with it. I thought my head was going and our bell ended up in hospital. <laughs> made it worse. <laughs> Loads of you emailed that one to us. That's a grower. It is a grower. Third time lucky. Third time. It was all over the place. More water. More water. Over to Channel 5 now. <laughs> That's right, Channel 5. Oh. And I hadn't realised Big Brother had got so much more exciting now that it's uh, that it's moved channels. Who knew? Callum is giving Hazel his intense one-hander. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Phil! <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't right. have got that when Alice was on Big Brother. No, you would not. Oh, where Terry, is she today? Where huh? is Where is Alice? Um, she's at a Victorian museum. Is she? <clears throat> she's yeah. not. She's holding a conference on goblets. Oh. Is she like Chief Wench? Yes, of course. It's a how to get your hair in that Victorian style with remaining dignity. She is the sort of uh, expert Victorian, isn't she? Yeah, Yeah. well, she is a Victorian. Victorian oh, correspondent. Definitely born in the wrong era. <laughs> uh, so on the Big Brother one there, a quick oh. massage was being given in the bedroom. Callum <laughs> is giving Hazel his intense <laughs> one-hander. <laughs> Loads of people saw that, including Terry. Thank you. OK, now to last week's Come Dine With Me. Ready? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Listen carefully to this important advice. If the flaps aren't securely closed, um, you could end up with a bit of beef hanging out. I don't remember that. I don't like it. I you could like end up it. with a bit of beef hanging out. Thank oh. you, Faye in Cambridge. Why I don't like it. OK, more water, please. Right. <clears throat> right I'm going to devour the whole of this. Let's, let, let's go deep in this one. Like, let's go. We're just spilling out. I'm not going to need to fit it all in, mate. Mm. <laughs> Over to Rick Stein again. <laughs> Rick Stein's India. What a show. Goes round India, having a lull and eating curry. And <laughs> Rick, what is going on with you two? It's really intense. Mm. Okay. Rick knows a good. <laughs> Rick knows a good thing when he sees it. Look at that. Beautiful, firm snapper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're really close. <laughs> Ricky and C uh, Teesside saw that. That's single handedly oh. the best one. Okay, more water, please. On, I'd man. like you to keep in that position for the next okay. one. Oh, it stings. It's just it's really hard. If you try and stare them out, it makes it even funnier. Yeah, it's good. Stare them out. <sighs> Ready? Mm. Yeah, hang on. There I am. There I am. Mm -hmm. Miguel Pujol. <laughs> <laughs> Phil's falling off his chair. The sheer force of the water. What was that? Are you all right? It's Phil, come back. I just went in for an Eskimo kiss and you, you <laughs> retorted me with a, a blast in the face. <laughs> Uh, uh, okay, let's get nice and close again. I'm enjoying this. I don't know. It's quite intense. I know, but it's only two more now. 
Next, over to the One Extra Breakfast Show. Now, I'm not sure anyone yet has explained to Yasmin Evans exactly <laughs> what you can and can't say on air. But you have won, and you get to enjoy all the VIP-ness, all the... Um... <laughs> <laughs> that was this morning. You guys are on it. We are on it. All the VIP ness. Thank you, Yasmin. <laughs> and finally, over to right. Desert Island Discs. <laughs> <laughs> and it's former jockey and author here, <laughs> Dick Francis. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Of course the jockey's called Dick. Yeah. yeah. Oh dear. Yeah. Please. Are you there we go. Please. Right. Nice and steady. Come on, water. Okay. <coughs> Here we go. Ready? Mm-hmm. Mm. Do you still ride Dick if only for fun? Fun! <laughs> 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 Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's wet. That is wet now, isn't it? Started off quite tame, but then look at you both. Well played, mate. Well done. Well played. Don't forget, Phil Taggart, Alice Levine, tonight at 10 o'clock. Loads of special guests, loads of artists, loads of DJs, and we're doing a special DJ set of disgusting, horrible RB at about 11 o'clock. Well played, everyone. Thank you for watching, and thank you for listening that was Thursday's Innuendo Bingo thanks Phil see you tonight thank you very much and Tuesday's Innuendo Bingo next time it's on will be with Eliza Doolittle yeah she's in the bin on yes. Tuesday